Hi all, it's Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I have a project shared today. Be right back. It's been a few weeks since I've done a project share, so it's kind of exciting. Um, I've basically been working on Easter projects, so I did these little and I should have written down who I got the file from, but I don't remember. I think to find them, I just searched Easter egg holder and I, I found them. And I, when I seen this one, I liked it. And I think I might have added free to it because I was looking for a free version and these ones were free. I had to subscribe to the ladies' blog post, but I was okay with that. Down the road, it's not, she doesn't have content that I'm really interested in. I'll just um, do it. Yeah. Okay, where is the other one? Ah, oh, there it is. I'm like, I know I had two of these. Where did it go? This one I'm pretty sure was from Carol Prevost. Prevost. She shares design space files, so if you have a Cricut, she creates projects and then she shares a link to her file that you can just go and either just make it or you can save it to make later. I usually save it because sometimes I want to make them again. But these little, these are what I ordered those um, little ornament, fillable ornaments on uh, Amazon for. I did have a little problem getting them to stick, but I got it. <laughs> it just took me a while, but did the cute little bunny. And then the egg. I like both of them. This one I filled with um, little erasers, and the other one I filled with um, Reese's Kisses. The bunny, I think, is super adorable. This one I found in Design Space. I used um, Tootsie Pops in them, but the little bunny. Um, the black lines and his eyes are gone. And then it has some cutting and new layer on like some pink behind it for the ears and the nose and the cheeks to show through there. And then put you know, a lollipop of some sort in the middle. And then uh, I did a couple of Dreaming Tree projects. I still have two left to put together of Dreaming Tree. Now I'm going to try switching. I bought some new brads. And I'm going to try switching and see if my new brads will work a little better than these ones. These ones are so small, they, I just don't think they get tight enough because they're hard to get in there, so his arms don't want to stay up. And he has, his arms are jointed, so that, that makes it a little harder. But that's, that's Mr. Easter Bunny. And then here's Mrs. Easter Bunny. Mrs. Easter Bunny's arms stay out better. <laughs> but. Her arms also are just a single cut. They're not, um, now she's making a wire out of me and her arms aren't staying up. That's what I get for saying that, right? But anyways, there's, there's Mrs. Um, Mrs. Easter Bunny and her arm just keeps it up. I'm gonna hold it there. But there she is. I used my the Michaels packs of paper that I got on sale a, couple, a week or two ago for a four ninety nine a pack. I used, that was the main part of her dress and the main part of his coat were from one of those packs. The other stuff I think just came from my stash. And then I did a couple of t-shirts. This one I kind of messed up a little bit, but I'm going to go with it. I think this is a t-shirt I picked up at um, Dollar Tree, to be honest with you. I did this one that had the bunny face on it. I thought that bunny, bunny face was so cute. I wanted a couple of Easter shirts. I didn't really have. I think I had one that I had made. And then I did my first infusible ink project. Um, this one was a cricket shirt, and everybody said they run small, so I bought a really big one. And I think it's going to be really big on me. But that's okay. I'd rather have it too big than too small. So I used some of my infusible ink for that. And then I have one more project. Let's get that put away. And then this was another Dreaming Tree project. I think he called it the Carrot Basket. So it's 
still have two more Easter ones to put together. I haven't cut, I just haven't got them assembled. I'm hoping next week to get back into my schedule of crafting. They usually try to do a Christmas project on Monday, and I just haven't the last two or three weeks. Um, I think it's been at least, I don't think I've done a project yet the last two weeks, so yeah. But I got some things done this week, so I will pop on and share them. I, I was mainly doing organizational type things. I may have done a few small little projects. If I did, I shared them on Instagram. But I think a lot of them were like just labeling. Like, um, this is one of them I did. Is I took my vinyl and I cut out the word, the color name in vinyl, in that, that color vinyl. And then I actually moved my vinyl to the front of my paper section. So. And I also relabeled my back stock containers with the color names. I redid those. I had them just in a cardstock and some of them were kind of peeling off so I redid them in vinyl. I think they'll stay now. I don't there'll be any issue with them coming off. And I labeled like my Easter Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.